Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So as you saw in the intro there, this video is going to be all about Morse code and how you can decode it using an SDR receiver. So if you guys have seen the film The Matrix, you can remember the iconic screen of seeing all these ASCII characters and funny strange characters scrolling down the screen and they were able to make out what was going on in The Matrix just by viewing that code. Well, the closest thing that we've got to that in the real world is going to be the waterfall on an SDR software pack. Package. Now, okay, in the matrix, they don't actually use Morse code, so that's enough of the matrix. Let's crack on and find out a bit more about Morse code and how we can decode it, and even more where we're going to find it. So, it's widely believed today that Morse code was actually invented by Samuel Morse back in the 1800s. Well, that is not strictly true. Samuel Morse actually invented telegraph back in 1832. The Morse code that we recognize today with the dots and dashes that equal letters and numbers was actually put together and invented and created by Alfred Vail. If you want to find out some more information about this and the true history behind it, I'll leave some links down in the description below where you can go ahead and research as much as you like. So let's just go ahead and jump into where we're going to find Morse code. So Morse code is generally found around the beginning of each of the handbands. Uh, we're talking anything below 30 megs. However, CW does also operate up on VHF and UHF as well. But primarily, if you're going to be wanting to have a listen to some Morse code or decode some, then you're going to be looking at some of the lower hand bands, such as anything from 10 meters down to 20, down to 40, and down to 80 meters, even 160 meters. Most of the activity, like I said before, will always be at the beginning of the band. It's that part of the band which is allocated specifically for CW. So when we're using an SDR package, we want to make sure that we're actually on the CW mode. What this does, it actually narrows the filter down because there's so many different transmissions of CW taking place at the same time and the bandwidth is very, very narrow. They can be very close together, which could affect the decoding. So you want to make sure that the filter is as narrow as possible. After selecting CW on this SDR console version 3, you can actually make the band even narrower so if you've got a really strong station next to the one that you're trying to decode then you can just narrow it down by dragging the edges in so at the moment I'm looking at uh, 20 meters this is the first portion of 20 meters and the application I've got running over on the left is actually called CW get so it's taking the audio output from SDR console and pumping it straight into CW get the only thing that you need to do in CW get is you can see the top white bar and you've got like a little kind of blue hump there that is actually the area of the audio spectrum that we're going to be trying to decode some CW from so all you need to do is click your mouse in the center of that so that it knows where to grab it from so let's just go ahead and have a little listen and uh, and see what we can pick up and decode Well, that wasn't the best example of decoding CW, but it does prove the point that you can use this CW get software to decode Morse code. In this particular example, it was a ham radio operator sending out his call sign, and I would imagine he's just testing his transmitter before he starts calling CQ. As you can see in the waterfall in the bottom right hand corner, all of those different lines going down, all the dots, they are different stations transmitting CW. Now CW doesn't just broadcast on the ham HF bands. There's lots and lots of other people that use 
CW. So go ahead, get your SDR receiver out. I'm using my new ELEC with the Hammer Up converter. Go ahead and see if you can find some CW signals that are outside of the ham bands, see what they're transmitting. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and also leave a comment down in the description below of what you've managed to decode with CW Get and your SDR software. I'll be really intrigued to know the frequencies and even what you've decoded as well, especially if it's outside of the handbands. Anyway, until the next video, guys, take care and we'll see you in the next one.